What's up everyone? We're about to do a 35 minute full body strength workout. I'll be using two 10 pound dumbbells. We'll have some movements with weights and some without. Warm up and cool down is included. Now this is gonna be quite a challenging routine today, but I'll provide modifications throughout so you can choose your own level. So grab your equipment and get ready to sculpt. All right, let's get started with our warm up. First up, we have twist, twist, then reach, twist, twist, reach the other way. Here we go, brace through the core, really reach through your fingertips. Here we go, reverse lunge, nice and slow, super controlled. We have jump rope. You can always do a march in spot on spot instead. All right, tap the heel forward, flex through the foot, reach, then arms circle back, alternating legs. Good, stretch through the hamstring. All right, warm up complete. Let's grab one dumbbell. And we have sumo stance. Take it a little bit wider, slightly turned out. Squat, then press forward. Squat, press. Here we go. Good, draw those knees back. Make sure they're not caving into the center. Good. Long, tall posture. Dumbbell into the right hand. We're gonna do squat and step back with the right leg, curtsy lunge. So stepping diagonally behind you. All right, stick with that same side. Other arm can be out to the side for balance. Good. Keeping the hips and body even in that squat. Make sure we're not tilting over to one side as we have an uneven weight for this one. Switch hands, same thing other side. Dumbbell is in the left hand and we're doing our squat. Then step back curtsy with the left leg. Okay. Good. 
squat is nice and even. Bring that body more upright for the curtsy. Grab both dumbbells. Okay, overhead tricep extensions. We have three of these. Then bring it to one shoulder, press back up. Okay. Two, three right here. Bring it to the shoulder, press back up. Good, ribs are in. Other shoulder, and back up. Okay. Next up, two tricep extensions. You're leaning forward, slight bend through those knees, then two punches down, then row it back up, use the back muscles. Here we go, palms are in, tricep extensions, elbows back, punch down. One, two, you've got it. Drop both dumbbells. You're coming onto the floor for some abs. We have lean back and then knee drive. Lean back, knee drive, let's go. Good, lean. Nice, shoulders down and back, no hunching here. Onto your back, we have squirms. So you're lifting that head, neck, and shoulders, and you're reaching for one ankle and then the other. Okay. All right, extend those legs, upper body down, arms by your side. We're gonna do leg lowers. So, so lower, then come back up. Okay.
Good, as always, glue that lower back on to the ground. Good, flatten out through the ribs. Avoid arching the back. Nice. All right, we have bicycle twists, but with bent legs this time. Twist and twist. Here we go. Open up through the elbows. Make sure you're lifting up. Get the most out of that crunch. Okay, come on to your right elbow. Side plank. Reach up for the stars. Scoop. Good. Leg lift. Here we go. Feet can be stacked or staggered. To modify, drop the bottom knee. Good, press the shoulders down and away from the ears. Reach. Good. Deep breaths. Almost there, a few seconds. Let's go. Switch sides. Come onto your left elbow. Same thing, scoop, then leg lift, modify if needed. Reach, scoop, leg lift. Good, press away from the floor with that forearm and hand that's supporting you. You can do it. 10 seconds. Okay, next up, we have bear hover here, two knees, two taps. Here we go, knees are hovering off the ground about an inch or two, knee drives. Good, top the opposite knee with that hand. Good, is your core engaged here? Good, use it to help you hold up in this position and hold your form strong. Try and avoid rocking the best you can on those taps. I know it's tough. Okay, let's grab one dumbbell. Bring it into the right hand, and we have squat thrusters. So press overhead with that one arm. Here we go. Inhale, 
exhale to press. Okay, switch arms, same thing. Squat, press with the left hand. Okay. Grab the other dumbbell. All right, we have an isometric hold on these biceps with half curl, alternating sides. Here you go, palms up, half curl. When the other hand is curling, and the other arm is holding still. Let's go. Exhale, inhale. Okay, we have reverse lunge and hammer curl. Reverse lunge, hammer curl. So palms are facing in. Good, nice big step back, even between both legs. Good. Okay, we have deadlift into row, then back up. So soften through the knees, flatten out the back, shoulders down and back. Here we go. Squeeze those elbows back. Good. All right, get rid of the dumbbells. Come onto your back into a bridge position. Okay, and we have marches. So lift one leg, drop it down, lift the hips, lift one knee, drop it down. Good. 
good. Really press through that heel to help lift your hips up. Good, press the heel down, drive the hips up. All right, next move you're going to feet or hip width. Lift, pulse the knees out, out, lower, right back up. Okay. Lift, pulse out, out, lower, but not all the way, straight back up. Good, are you squeezing the glutes? Good, keep them engaged. You are going to flip around, come onto hands and knees, extend the left leg, pulse lift, lift, then two push-ups forward. Good, and you can modify this one if you need. Lift, lift, forward. One, two, good. Think about using the glutes. Then think about engaging that core as you come forward. Okay, there's some tough moves in this one. God, it's always good to challenge yourself. You can always do more than you think you can. Good. Okay, same thing other side. We're gonna pulse the right leg, pulse, pulse, and two push-ups forward. Lift, lift. Good. Hands are shoulder width. Make sure those elbows are grazing past the side body here. Okay, grab both dumbbells. We have two overhead press, and then rotate forward, rotate side, and then do it rotating on the other arm. Here we are. Good, exhale to press, inhale to bend. Keep that breath flowing. Okay, you're gonna lean forward and have two flies. Work the back of the shoulders, then bring it upright. Two lateral raises, work the side of the shoulders of those deltoids. Here we go. Good, squeeze the shoulder blades together, flat back as we lean forward. Slight bend through those elbows, keep them 
lifted and supported. Good, body is upright. Good, this one is tough if you need to bend those elbows a little bit more than you can. Okay, let's work the legs. We have front squat, so elbows rest on those shoulders here. Squat and back up. Good, hips are down and back. All right, reverse lunge back with your left leg. And we have two reps here, down and up. Then you're going to extend and lean forward just slightly for two leg lifts. Here we go, step it back. Down, up, down, up, lean forward. Good, the supporting leg is bent, back leg is straight. Try and catch your balance on that supporting leg before you do the leg lift. Make sure you are on balance. Woo. It burns through the front quads there. Okay, other leg. Your right leg is back. Down, up, down, up. Shift it forward. Two lifts. Back with that right leg. Okay. All right, drop one of your dumbbells. And we have press forward, step out. So you're traveling to one side, traveling to the other side. Really try and press into that dumbbell, press it into the center. Here we go. Okay, next up, squat down and then cross reach. Squat down, cross reach. You're bracing through that core the whole time to help you lift and twist. Good, feet a bit wider so you have room for that dumbbell in the middle. Good.
Good, lengthen as you reach. Good, open chest for that squat. get rid of that dumbbell. We have walkouts. Come to one side of your mat, walk out, two push-ups, hands are shoulder width. Come back up. Here we are. Find the plank, squeeze the glutes. Good, I know everyone loves push-ups. <laughs> Okay, come on to your elbows. And we have knee taps. So just alternating sides. Hold that low plank. Let's go. Okay, you are so close to the end. We have three movements left after this. Good. You can do it. You can make it to the end. Good, holding all of your muscles strong. Okay, flip around. We have some abs. Mason twist, knee drive, mason twist, knee drive. You are leaning back. Okay, lean back. Twist to the right, lift the right knee. Twist to the left, lift the left knee. Come on to your back. And we have cross reaches with the crunch there. So reaching diagonally up to the sky. Reach and lower. Exhale, inhale. Okay, final move. We have jackknife. So you're extending both arm and leg and then reaching forward, tucking those knees in. Modify if needed, let's go.
Good, belly button to spine and spine into the floor the best you can. Good, we've got a tough one to finish off. Those ab muscles are on fire. A few seconds. Okay, drop the left leg, cross the right ankle over the left thigh, figure four stretch. Open up that knee, option to clasp the hands, and bring it in. Switch sides, left ankle crosses over the right thigh. Thread the hand through. Good, pull those legs in towards you. Figure four stretch. Good, arms up to the side, bend through those knees, drop them to the right. Twist through the body here. Good, gaze can come left. those knees back to center, drop them to the left, gaze can come to the right. to chest and rock it on up. Send those legs forward fold. Good, stay here for as long as you need to or join me in rolling on up, finding a comfortable seated position. Inhale, reach up and exhale. You did it, amazing work everyone. Okay team, that was a challenge. Let me know how you did in the comments down below. If you felt the burn, then hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.